is you. attempt to cross this bridge, you win a prize package worth over $2,500. So watch now as they brave those dangers to win on Pitfall. Eileen, even if it is your birthday today, you're standing on a Pitfall. And Cindy, that's another Pitfall, so hang on tight. Now, here's the band that guides you through all the Pitfalls, Alex Trebek. Thank you, John. Hi, everyone, and welcome again to our program. As you can see, I've got a new partner with me starting things off on this program. What's your name? Carrie. Carrie. Speak a little louder and speak into my necktie. Why don't you have a chair over there? Why is it you're sitting in the aisle with me? Sorry, what Mom said. What? what did Mom say? You're too young to play the game? Right. Well, your opinion might be a very valuable one, but for now, we'll deal with most of the older folks in the audience. They're the ones who are going to be using those selector, selector switches to come up with the right answer. And these contestants are going to be trying to figure out what the audience's preference was. Let's meet the players. First of all, here's our new challenger. This gal's a bingo fan who hopes to win a big bingo jackpot on pitfall today. Please welcome Cindy Hay. And our champion who has already won over $5,500 and doesn't want to quit now. It's Eileen Mintz. Why should Eileen Mintz want to quit now when she made it so exciting at the end of our last program? That was a dynamite finish. Thank you. And you did it with about a half a second That's to spare. Told. <laughs> Cindy, if you can enjoy as much success, well, then you're going to be a very happy lady also. I sure Welcome plan. aboard. Thank you. You know how we play the game? Oh, yes. All right. Anytime you are correct, you'll earn a point. It'll show up on that scoreboard behind you, as you can see. You can earn as many as five points or three pit passes. That would give you an automatic win. Or we'll play and find out who's leading when we hear this sound. That's our time's up indicator. If you two girls are all set. Let's go to the audience. Depending on the situation, ladies and gentlemen, in business, what is a woman's greatest asset? Is it ambition, sex appeal, contacts, or education? Vote for one, two, three, or four on those selected switches at your seats. One, two, three, or four. The votes are now in. Eileen, as champion, you go first. Okay. I think business, you have to have good contacts. So that's what I would choose, contacts. Of that group of four, and you're yeah. a business lady. Yes. <laughs> you're a lady who's out there in the business that's world. That's right. <laughs> okay. I'm impressed by your reasoning. Cindy. I think that you need ambition if you're going to get anywhere in the business world today. Or so. anywhere in anything. That's you right. You need ambition. That's right. Let's see if the audience agrees with one of you. Folks, what did you say? You said ambition. Cindy gets it right, even though she did not select first. A point and a pit pass for you, our challenger. A man who stays home to look after the house and the kids is probably one of these four things. Which one? Lucky, lazy, liberated, or henpecked? What's it going to be? One, two, three, or four? Cindy? It's the same old thing, henpecked. Really? Gosh, I wouldn't mind yeah. doing that, to tell you the truth, Eileen. I think he's a very much of a liberated man to be able to do that. And to do it without feeling Absolutely. insecure Couldn't or possibly. put down. Let's see if the audience agrees this time. Ah! They said, no, he's hanging back. They're hanging with Cindy. Eileen, you were such a good oh. player in the matches in the previous games. You've got to start pulling okay. things up. Let's see if it'll happen on this one. Which of these do you worry about the most? Is it the future? the past, the present, or all three? Which do you worry about the most? Eileen, let's see if you can get a point. Okay, now. I think things that are happen happening to you right now, you tend to worry about those. Are you worried about your situation on Pitfall? I, I will be if I don't make this one. <laughs> okay, because you're trailing. I know. Zero to two at the moment. Cindy. I believe it's the future, you know. Uh, we got to pay the bills. What are we going to do next year? And Number one. Kids are getting old. They're going to go to right. school. We can't afford That's college right. and all the other things. Audience, what do you worry about the most? Uh, the future, three in a row for Cindy. <laughs> well, it's been a little while on Pitfall since we've had a question that relates to sex, but uh, here we go. Which of these animal qualities do you think would help make a person a better lover? The qualities possessed by a cat, a gorilla, a rabbit, or a snake. And if you want to be really crazy, think for a moment about what would happen if a person combined the qualities of all four, how that would affect them as a lover. Hmm. Cindy. Well, I think a snake is too sneaky, and a rabbit too tame. Too tame. And too a gorilla. fast, you mean. Oh. <laughs> too many kids, too. Uh, I'd go for a cat, cuddly. Cuddly. Eileen. That leaves you with a gorilla. I know. I don't want to do that one. Um, I think 
sensual snake. A snake. <laughs> Once you get past the horror of getting close, mm -hmm. it can be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Audience, <laughs> which animal? The cat. Four points for Cindy. On her way for a clean sweep and the skunking of our yeah, champion. Come on, Eileen. Okay. We're into the area of stereotypes for this question, ladies and gentlemen. Of these usually feminine pastimes or occupations, which do you think men should stay away from? Nursing, hairstyling, secretarial work, or housekeeping? Men should not be involved in which one of these? Eileen. I think secretarial work will drive them crazy. I don't think they should try to even involve themselves with that. All right, Cindy. I choose housekeeping. I don't know of any neat man. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You don't know of any neat man? No. Nope. You're looking at one, my dear. Very neat. Good well, on vacuuming. Looks, yes. But Good on vacuuming. Oh. Good on ironing. Mm -hmm. Polishing. The whole schmear. <laughs> $120 a month, and I'll do windows. <laughs> Let's find out what the audience thinks is bad for a man. They said secretarial <laughs> work. A point at last for Eileen. <laughs> I'm glad you folks in our studio audience vote in secrecy because this is a very revealing question. How would you honestly rate your importance where you work? Are you indispensable? Are you replaceable? Just necessary? Or are you not needed? Your importance where you work. And you know what, Cindy? You get to consider this one first, and if you're right, you'll have five points, the championship, and get to select three pit I passes. Know. This is a real toughie. Um... I'll have to go with replaceable. Okay. Eileen? I think people just feel that they're, they're uh, just necessary. I don't think they have enough confidence in themselves. Time's up. We'll get an answer from the audience on this. Both of you chose the middle-of-the-road approach. Let's see if one of you is right and picks up a point. Audience said just necessary. Eileen gets the point, but it's not enough. I'm sorry, Eileen. Come on, Cindy. You stand over here with me. Eileen, you did very, very well. Over $5,000 in prizes. Enjoy them all, won't you? Take care. Cindy, hold on to the podium because you and I are going to take a little trip and we'll come back and play the tip all around after this. telling you that rural age consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. That's a lot of relief packed into each little tablet. In fact, if you suffer from simple heartburn or indigestion, it really should be enough relief. Try rural age first, as directed. Then, if symptoms still persist, consult your physician. Remember, rural age consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. 47 times. That's a lot of relief packed into each little tablet. Pick up a box of ABC detergent, you pick up a great value. You could save up to 20% over a leading brand. ABC is even challenging people to tell the difference between a wash done in ABC and one done in the same leading higher price detergent. Well, they both look clean and white. I can't see a difference. There is one difference. You could save up to 20% with ABC. And today, 20% is a lot of money. Why pay more? Buy ABC. As J.M. Schneider started making more and more different, delicious, prepared meats, he always remembered who he was making them for, his kids and your kids. So J.M. used only top quality, fresh ingredients to make the kind of meats he'd be proud to serve his family and that you could always trust to serve yours. Schneider's prepared meats. You can still taste the difference quality makes. Don't touch that dial. You know what's going on in this innocent-looking ranch. Oh, and what's going on is evil, immoral, and against the law. Everybody up! They say it's indecent. They say they're going to close it down. Because with Bird and Dolly, this much fun just couldn't be legal. It's the best little in Texas. A universal picture. Starts Friday at the Odeon Granville, Dunbar, West Van Odeon, Fraser, Westminster Drive-In, in the height of Victoria. Our new champion, Cindy Hay, just mentioned something to me during that commercial break. 
which upon reflection makes a great deal of sense. She says, it's a good thing I play the game Simon. Now, most of you are familiar with that. You have to remember the little light show and the sounds. And that, I think, would help you a great deal with our light show. I hope so. Let's find out right okay. now as we ask you to turn around and spot the sections that light up twice. <laughs> There's a lot of murmuring going on in the audience, but you tell me. You're allowed to select two pick um, passes. I'll pick six and eight. Six and eight, and you'll take an elevator ride with me. Come on. Cindy knew not the three booby trap sections were six, seven, and eight. We're going to find out soon enough if she is right. Which means, of course, if you are, that you don't have to worry about this early section. You'll just give me correct answers, one after the other, earn $100 in cash each time until you reach number five, and then you're going to enjoy winning this prize. You look like a lady on the go, Cindy. So it's the Electra Home 6-inch Nomad Portable Color Television. Weighs only eight and a half pounds. And Cindy, it goes anywhere, from the home to the beach to the camper, from Electra Home. Why settle for just one prize when you can keep going, earn $100 for number six, 100 for number seven, 700 for number eight, and then at the end of the line, get to enjoy this fabulous trip. Even if you win, Cindy, you're going to be all washed up because it's a whitewater rafting vacation weekend for two. On 90 kilometers of river excitement in the magnificent Fraser Canyon, you'll be camping under the stars with all meals and services provided by your crew. A unique holiday from Hell's Gate Enterprises. I don't know if I'd want to win a prize that said <laughs> Hell's Gate Enterprises. I think that might be a little too rough for me, but are you an outdoorsy type? Oh, yes. All right, yes. good. Then you might enjoy that. Okay. Got those in the right order? Uh-huh. I'm all ready. So am I. 100 seconds <laughs> on the clock. Here we go. At a rodeo, whose job is it to protect the riders when they fall? The clown. Clown is right. Move on to number one. Nice going. Name the first book of the Old Testament. Genesis. You got it again. Number two, $200. According to the song, if the rain is Tess and the fire is Joe, what do they call the wind? Pass. They call the wind Mariah. How many C's in the word zucchini? Two. Two is right. Go to number three. Safe there for 300. What's the largest lake in North America? Pass. Lake Superior. With what sport are the Harlem Globetrotters associated? Basketball. That's right. Go to number four. $400. What comedian gets no respect? Roger. Dangerfield. That's good enough. Rodney Dangerfield. Oh we'll give it to you. You're five and you're safe. You've got a prize. Is a female moose called a cow? Yes. Yes, you got it. Pass. Pass. Give it to me. Wind up on number seven and you're going down. You thought that would be a pit ball, but boy, you've got plenty of time. Close to 50 seconds. And a pit pass. All you'll have to do is give me one, two correct answers and you're home free. How many sides is a triangle? Three. Right. Stop it. Bring her up. 43 seconds. <laughs> You're not going to set a record on the show, but you're in very good shape. You want me to read them quickly or just take my time and sort of... Read them quickly. All right. In what country is the city of Beirut? Pass. Lebanon. In what country is the city of Caracas? Pass. Venezuela. You're celebrating Carnival in Rio de Janeiro. In what country are you? South America. No, you're in Brazil. Oh, That's the yes. continent. What baseball team does Fernando Valenzuela pass. pick for? The La L.A. Dodgers. What is the more common name for the famous painting, A Study in Gray and Black? Pass. Whistler's mother. What nation does Anwar Sadat lead? Egypt. Egypt is right. Give me the pick. Pass. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. Oh, yes. 17 seconds. Way to go. Oh, 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 oh. I got news for you. You frightened the daylights out of me. We had about 40 seconds to go, and then we started hitting, like, uh, Whistler's Mother, the L.A. Dodgers, uh, and the Carnival, and but those I did countries. It. I did it. You did it. That's oh, yeah, the important that's thing. Right. So you have a great holiday, river rafting to look forward to, and lots of cash besides, and the chance to continue oh. as our pitfall champion right after this break. <laughs> there we go. Six, seven, and eight. You're absolutely right. Uh -huh. Grand Tree's cooking with hot, hot prices, and just look at this burning example. It's this brass tone accented seven-piece bedroom suite for the hot price of $399. Now, that's a great value when you consider what you get. The double dresser, mirror, headboard, and nightstand, plus you also get the full-size mattress box foundation and castered frame, all seven pieces for the great low price of $399 at Grand Tree because our prices are hot. 
Better bargains for smart buyers. That's what you'll find at your Super Grand Tree Furniture Store. Nothing but the best goes into Old South frozen concentrated orange juice. 100% Florida oranges. We not only meet the high standards demanded by Florida law, we surpass them. Old South has a tradition of quality to honor, so we take special care to use nothing but the best juice oranges in the world. Every can. Every taste. We're not just making orange juice, we're making Old South. Hope there's no people to spoil our picnic. Oops, we forgot the salt. I'll get it. You're really gonna get it, Bug. Raid House and Garden kills bugs on contact. Huh? Wait! In the house and in the garden. Uh, it sounds like it's gonna ra 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 Raid House and Garden kills bugs dead. In the house and in the garden. Friday on the Big Event Movie, Humphrey Bogart, Aldo Ray, and Peter Ustinov star in We're No Angels. All three of you are, uh, convicts? Crooks? <laughs> I'm a crook. These are murderers. I'm going to make you the most successful businessman on Devil's Island. Plans for a simple robbery turn into a lofty escapade for three Devil's Island escapees on We're No Angels, Friday night at 9 here on CKVU. Tonight at midnight, a champion of justice in post-war Japan uses secret kung fu techniques to combat local black market gangs. Sonny Chiba stars in The Killing Machine tonight on The Late Show at 12. Tonight on The Big Event Movie, suicide turns into murder as a pharmaceutical drug scandal unfolds. Kenneth Haig and Nanette Newman star in Man at the Top tonight at 9 on the CKVU Big Event Movie. Very, very good player indeed. And now, let's see if she can defeat this challenger. Bring her on, John. Cindy, your challenger is an active mother who's developing her talents as a photographer in her own dark room. Say hello to Bobby Zizzy. Hi, what does John mean when he says you're developing your talents as a photographer in your dark room? What exactly are you doing in your dark room? Oh, developing pictures and film. Yeah? Yeah. Specialize in what, 35 mil 35 shots? millimeter only. Uh, portraits, uh, um, a lot of beautiful scenery around Scenery here. in B.C. is lovely, yeah. yeah. I used to have a dark room. I spent a lot of time in my dark room, boozing it up. <laughs> Big tanker. You all set? Yes. Okay, you have a lovely smile, and it's a pleasure having you on the program. A change is as good as a rest, they tell me. So I would leave my current partner. But for what? Or for whom? A better lover? For more glamour? For more security? Or for none of the above? I wouldn't leave my car. Vote for one, two, three, or four. Cindy, champion, you vote first now. Well, I am going to go for none of the above. I love the man I'm with, and I'll stay with him. Number four. Okay, is he in the audience today? No, he's not. Oh, well, isn't that nice of you? <laughs> is your boyfriend here? No, I don't have a boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> I'm I, I tried to catch you, Cindy, but it didn't work. Bobby, what's your answer? Well, I have to agree with Cindy. Uh, none of the above, but if it has to be for a reason, a better lover. A better lover. You're remembering my old motto, when in doubt, go for sex, the sexual aspect. Let's see if the audience went for that. They said, none of the above. They're happy with the way things are, and Cindy gets a quick pass and a point. Some things are harder to swallow than others. In this group, What's the toughest? Medicine, oysters, pride, or swallow our own words? One, two, three, or four for your consideration right now. Bobby. Oh, personally, I don't like them. Oysters. Okay. Cindy. I think it's our own words. So many times we say things we wish we hadn't. Absolutely right. Okay, two different approaches to the same problem. Let's see how the audience handled it. They find it difficult to swallow their pride. See? They're thinking of the same. Swallow your pride and do it. Here's a fun one. 
In fact, it has to do with pleasure. What's the most fun you've ever had in a hot tub? Was it getting drunk or getting tipsy, just relaxing there, playing footsie with somebody, or snorkeling in a hot tub? The most fun for you. You look kind of crazy just snorkeling in a hot tub with all those bubbles. What do you think, Cindy? I think uh, playing footsie. I think that'd be an awful lot of fun, even if you're married, too. All right, Bobby? It does sound like fun, but how about getting tipsy? Yeah, that's dangerous, though. You can, uh, the combination of uh, the booze. Yeah, you can boil. Absolutely <laughs> right. You come out of there, you're uh, parboiled. All right, we've got a vote for getting tipsy and one for playing footsie. Anything that ends in a Y will mean good news for one of our players. What is it, audience? Getting tipsy. That's a point for Bobby. It's all tied up. One apiece. When you wake up in the morning, assuming you do, what's the first thing you reach for? Is it the light, a cigarette, your robe, or your watch? Which of those four? Bobby, what's the first thing you reach for in the morning? My robe. Okay. Cindy? Who wants to get up early? I reach for my watch. All right. A robe and a watch. That's what these ladies would reach for. Our audience selected this as their preference. The light. <laughs> Look, it would be so much easier sleeping in a room that had a window, you know? How long will it be before space creatures actually visit the planet Earth? Any day now? A hundred years from now? They are here now, or they, they will never come to visit us. They'll write us letters, but they will never come to visit. Cindy? Uh, pretty young audience that probably believes in science fiction. I'll say they're here now. Bobby? Any day now. Okay. Coming. Remember we said space creatures actually visiting the Earth. Both, both of you have gone for the same approach. It's just a question of degree. Let's see if the audience helps one of you out. Audience <laughs> number three. That's a point for Cindy. It was a question of degree. When it comes to romance, think about yourselves for a moment, folks. When it comes to romance, you're usually too, what? Soft, inhibited, hard, or too weak? <laughs> when it comes to romance. Boy, there's one section of the audience here that is really reading between the lines. Bobby, are they friends of yours? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> All right, what do you say? Um, those are difficult. Soft. Cindy? I'll say inhibited. All right. Audience, when it comes to romance, you're usually too soft. <laughs> It's all tied up again. Two points for Cindy, two points for Bobby. Maybe this question will decide our pitfall champion. The mark of a true executive is what? A status symbol that's the most important. A secretary, a three martini lunch, a briefcase, or an expense account? The mark of a true executive. Cindy, slight advantage for you a because you go first. A true executive, number four, an expense account. Bobby. Oh, that was mine. However... How about a three martini lunch? Sounds like fun. If you can't have the expense account, get bombed. Right. <laughs> All right, this could decide our champion for this match. Ladies and gentlemen, the true mark of an executive is what? An expense account and symbol. You remain champion. Come on over here. Bobby, oh, you played the game well. It was nice having you here. Bye-bye. Good luck. Okay, Bobby says good luck to Cindy, and those are our sentiments exactly. We'll find out if she can make that luck pay off when we come back to football right after this. You have a dictionary, but does it tell you how many acres in Stanley Park? How many ships go through our port? How many people live in Coquitlam? What is our average rainfall? And what do we do when it rains or shines? I could go on, but I think you've got the picture. Speaking of pictures, where can you find these? The answer is Vancouver Official Guide, the perfect coffee table book for your home or your friends. Vancouver Official Guide at newsstands and bookstores everywhere. New Jello Pudding Pops! New Jello Pudding Pops! Hey, Bill, can I do with that? New Jello Pudding Pops! Frozen pudding on a stick. Ooh, tastes good! Yep! It's a home run with your taste buds and won't strike out with your mom like some snacks do because it's made with real pudding. New rich, creamy tasting Jell-O brand pudding pops. All the goodness of pudding frozen on a stick. Delicious! It won't strike out with mom. <laughs> 
lot of lazy days in summer. We've got the things that make them great in our holiday home savers event. Like Sanyo's AM FM portable stereo cassette with two-way speakers, only $139.95. Or Sanyo's AM FM portable radio cassette with digital tape counter, only $79.95. And West Bend's 12,000 BTU gas barbecue folds for real portability, only $97.77. Home hardware, home of the handyman. Yes, the handyman can. Chow, chow, chow. The kitten in your cat may be looking for a tasty treat. But the cat in your cat needs the nutritional goodness of Purina Cat Chow. Cat Chow is all the protein, vitamins, and minerals your cat needs for a long, healthy life. So keep the kitten in your cat by giving him everything he needs to feel healthy and full of life. Purina Cat Chow. Ah, Cindy is just telling me that she won two pit passes in that match, and she's going to get a chance to select them right after we uh, enjoy our light show. I like this part because it gives the audience here in the studio and the folks at home an opportunity to get involved in what we're doing to see if they can spot those sections that are going to light up two times. Turn around. Okay. Here we go, everybody. <laughs> I got him, I got him, I got him. Well, and you can pick two. <laughs> I'll pick one and two this oh, time. Oh, those were the ones I was going to pick. Oh, I was going <laughs> to pick one, two, and three. If I had won three of them, I hope it works for you. Because okay. we have some lovely prizes. John? First of all, Cindy, if you make it as far as square number five, for your musical pleasure, it's a sound design stereo component set from Electro Home with an AM FM receiver and cassette layer. Fully automatic, multi play turntable, and two way speakers, a swing system from Electro Home. And Cindy, a little while ago, you said that you like the out of doors. So if you make it all the way, wax your skis, because we have a fabulous one week vacation for two in beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. Enjoy the Ultramodern Hotel Zurich in the heart of the city on the banks of the Lamatt River. Gourmet food and famous Swiss hospitality at the Hotel Zurich. That would be a fabulous holiday. Honeymoon. Do, honeymoon? honeymoon yep. Who are you engaged and about? Married six years and haven't been on a honeymoon yet. <laughs> oh, who is this piper? <laughs> Listen, even if you provide it, it will be wonderful for you. Good luck. 100 seconds. According to the Bible, what will the meek inherit? The earth. The earth is right. Pass. Give me a pass for number one. Pass. Give me a pass for number two. Wind up a number three then. And we're going down. I said one, two, three, and you knew that also, but that's okay. You're disposing of this pitfall early on in the segment. There are Jonathan's, Rome beauties, and Northern spies. What are they? Apple. Right, bring her up. <laughs> 79 seconds. Oh, plenty of time. Sorry now. <laughs> This is fun. Yeah, why yeah. do I have the feeling that uh, you and I could just chat up here for a while and it wouldn't disturb things <laughs> at all? Yeah, but look what all. happened to me last time. Yeah, you ran yeah. into a problem, so we better get to it. Okay. Which automobile company built the Model T? The Ford. Right. What is the name of the writing system used by blind people? Braille. Right. This six million dollar man was once married to one of Charlie's angels. Who is he? Steve Austin. No, oh. Lee Majors. I wanted his name. What is usually filed by the Dewey Decimal System? Pass. Library books. Who did Winnie the Pooh belong to? Christopher. Right. Christopher Robin, you go to number six. Does an ape have a tail? No. Oh, no, you're right. What nation has the world's largest population? China. Right. You ice skate at a rink. Where do you roller skate? At a rink. At a rink, right. What country does the city of Kabul serve as capital? Oh, come on. I wanted to ask another question. <laughs> Just teasing it. We gotta go. Great moment on this delay. So long, folks. See you next time on Football. You make the rules, but I'm a hunted.
Man at the Top, tonight at 9 here on CKVU. <laughs>